Hello YouTube, this is Big Joe, and today I'm going to tell you how to make a kill switch on your riding lawnmower. The reason why I made a kill switch for this riding lawnmower is because when I changed the engine, the wiring harnesses did not match, so when I turn the ignition off, it does not shut down the engine. Now what shuts down the engine, you ask? Well, there's a wire that comes off your... Uh, Magneto, spark plug wire, many people have different words for them. I call it spark plug wire, but it's a magneto. It's a wire that comes off of that, and it comes down to here, and it would usually plug into a wire on the wiring harness, and when you turned off the mower, the motor would stop. So what that does is it kills power to this spark, so it would not spark, and I'd turn it off. So... To make a kill switch, this is your ignition. So over here, I made a little switch. And when you flip it off, even if this is an on or off position, the motor will stop. But before you go to crank it, switch it on and then start it so your mower will crank. And what I did here is you take a wire, this wire, and you run it all the way up here, and it wires into this, and then you take the other side and you ground it. Oops. You gotta ground it to the frame. I grounded it right here. That's fine, totally fine, wherever you can get it at. And then when you go to shut off your mower, now it will work. Now I won't demonstrate it for you because I do not have a battery in this mower. But I have a battery in this mower. And I got it rigged up on this one too. See it got it wired here. And it does the same thing like I showed you on the other one. So I'll go ahead and crank it. I mean y'all have heard this thing run before but... And you got to switch it on to start it. And like I said, no matter if the ignition is an on or off position, it will, it will turn it off. Now, I'll show you what will happen if you don't turn this on. As you can see, your mower will not start. It will turn over, but there's no fire going to that spark plug to start it. So remember, always switch that on when you go to crank it. Okay, that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, it's real easy to put it on. All you need is a toggle switch, a wire running from here to the magneto, coal wire, excuse me, and then a wire running to a ground. And it takes probably about 10 minutes to 20 minutes to put it on. You got to do a little fabrication. Like here, I had to drill a hole in here to pop this down in here so it will stay. Um, but that's pretty much it. Now, an update on this mower. I'll go ahead and do an update. Um, I cut a hole out here because every time I go to shift this thing, that bolt comes loose. And I got tired of it. So I'm going to make a hatch where I can just flip it up and down with ha uh, uh, a lock and all that sort of stuff. And I also went to Advance Auto. Yep, got to get my monolized in there. Uh, I think I lost it already. I bought a bottle of Loctite. Blue Loctite. Oh, there it is. Bottle of Loctite. You want to get the blue kind because you may want to take it off later and the red kind won't let you take it off. It says must use a torch and I said yeah might need to change this transmission one day don't need to do that. So anyway this is how you uh, wire up a kill switch for your lawnmower. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs>